Hey folks, welcome to Man Cave Makings with me Gus. Well, in this video you'll have probably already guessed I'm making an industrial desk lamp. Now, the inspiration for this came a couple of months back when a local trip on a Sunday morning to my car boot sale stumbled across this beautiful old oil lamp. Now, I wasn't looking for an oil lamp per se, I was actually looking for maybe a, a, a vintage type motorbike uh, lamp or a, a sort of battered copper type lamp. Um, I wasn't quite sure. I was wanting to look at the heads to make sure that I could repurpose them. And then I came across this and I was like, oh, that, that is it. It's got everything I love. It's got that industrial type feel to it. Um, it's got some glass in there as well. Obviously everything south of the here is getting binned, but it was this top section that really drew me in. And I thought, oh, I could make a a gimbal arm and I could you know tie that back to a base somehow and oh that's great and uh, how much do you want for it pal and he was like eh, oh, 10 pounds I was like mm, eight pounds he was like yeah yeah okay eight quid later there you go inspiration 101 boom heads bursting with ideas and that's what this video is all about taking an old oil lamp repurposing it to a beautiful industrial style desk lamp so let's get in it. First little jobby obviously was to separate the uh, top from the bottom and, and all I'm doing here is just cutting things away and prepping it all up with the flapper wheel um, and assembling it back together again. So having to clean it up um, as best as you can, it was quite rusty so taking some uh, some steel wool and using some elbow grease uh, just brought up the cage uh, really nicely back to itself again um, and then on to tapping in the, uh, the side bars to, to accept the screw heads in that brought it all together. So all of my projects usually start with a pen and a bit of paper or a pencil and a bit of paper um, and lots of stuff to draw around to make the shapes that I need. So I did this for the arms and the base and basically everything uh, follows the same kind of principle. Um, and then I just cut it out as a template, uh, mark around it and then uh, onto the cutting uh, out which I, I tend to use just a jigsaw for but I'm sure if you've got a fancy sort of plasma cutter or something like that it would equally work as well as, uh, as a little jigsaw does. Um, I use a, a fine blade here, um, it's only 1.6mm sheet steel that I'm working with so it's relatively straightforward. Once I've got two identical parts, a little tip is just to join them together with little tack welds at uh, specific points um, and that way once you start shaping um, the overall pieces they're going to be exactly the same, um, so they're going to be a mirror image of each other um, and that's really handy when you've got these kind of things because um, you're, you're, you're essentially wanting um, uniformity throughout the piece so I did this with the arm and the base as well um, and it's the same kind of principle of just cutting stuff out drilling it um, and then unfortunately a good lump of elbow grease and uh, a lot of time on the bench just filing away and getting the shapes that you need and uh, that's that's how I do it So when I thought about how to join the two pieces together whilst incorporating a cable hold, um, I came up with this little idea of getting an 8mm rod with an 8mm tube, tack welding them together and then just putting a plug weld through the, the, the two pieces, join the two together um, and there you've got that really nice incorporated cable way through the whole piece. So I treated myself to a captive nut tool um, and it was brilliant and I'm definitely going to use it again, uh, really handy for this sort of thing um, and just made that top section just really as seamless as it can be. And back to the base again, obviously just tying that in through the drawing, cutting it out as a template and did exactly the same as the, the, the top arm. And as you can see here, all I'm doing is just marking the back out um, for how I go about uh, cutting and shaping that. And then it's just a simple case of uh, dressing it up, um, tack welding it, um, 
bending, tack weld, bend wing, tack weld kind of idea. Um, just using everything that's in, in, in the workshop there, hammers, tools, clamps, all that kind of good stuff. Um, and then it's just a simple case of welding the whole lot up. So once I'd got it kind of where I wanted it to be, it looked a sort of a bit plain and I thought, well, I think we can do a wee bit better than that. So um, I thought, oh, come on, maybe try some diamond shapes in there. And I took this oversized nut and just drew around it and I thought, oh, that looks all right. So just drilled the holes in it, um, cut the shapes out. And uh, yeah, I was pretty pleased with the outcome, really. A wee job that really burnt my brain for a while was this uh, arm that goes on the cantilever for the uh, ram to go on, um, really fiddly but this little widget took a long time to do but well worth it. Next dilemma, how to get that bulb and holder into the top hat there um, and all I did was just take this little uh, bracket, double bent it into the shape uh, and, and fitted it in there quite nicely. Onto the swivel base and just taking a smaller diameter circle, marking out, drilling it, cutting it out, simple job. So as with the top arm, I just put the tubes into the sidebar section and just plug welded them in for the cable ways. Using an argon purge box just helps with the uh, inside weld, seams looking absolutely pristine. Um, that made it look really good. Um, on to a really good invention of mine, which is uh, an old uh, disc uh, off of uh, a mini actually, <laughs> um, and using that as uh, a former to, to form round the, the base there. Uh, tack welding it together and then uh, just uh, welding that up and then finishing it off with the flapper wheel. Thinking about the electrics and this little toggle switch, uh, it was a quite a tricky job to actually fit it all in, but uh, once I got the base in, uh, routed that out, um, and then it was just tack welding the lugs on that uh, the screws retain in there, and then oh, onto the cleaning. Clean, 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 uh, just to get the, the surface finish and the prep on it um, prior to getting into the antiquing fluid. Now this stuff um, is, a, is a kind of acid really, so uh, you've got to be careful with it, but essentially all you do is apply it, get the right colour, wash it off, and then just put a top coat uh, matte finish spray onto it, um, and that's it done. So we're on to the final assembly, uh, just getting everything prepped up and, and into the, the actual top hat there. Um, I just spray painted it black so it doesn't have that silver look. I uh, made my own cable retainers. Um, just to keep all the cabling uh, correct um, and then just essentially put Humpty Dumpty back together again. A little tricky job of getting that cable through all of those fine tubes there. It was quite finely matched to the actual cable size uh, but it looks just superb because um, you can't see the cable uh, as such you know without uh, really get standing over it um, and then just essentially putting put it all together again. A really important job is making sure that the earth continuity is correct. Um, being a metal structure throughout, you need to make sure that the earth, earthing is correct, um, which it was all the way through. Um, managed to get that continuity working well. And then just wiring the whole lot up and it's ready for a switch on. And there we have it. She's all done. and. I am absolutely delighted with how this has come out. Um, 
I think this is actually probably one of the nicest things I've ever made or fabricated or thought about sleepless nights or <laughs> all of that kind of stuff. Um, it, it, it's just turned out brilliantly. Um, all from this uh, simple idea from this head that I saw on an old oil lamp that I picked up at a car boot for eight quid um, a few months ago. Um, and everything is now formed back from here. All the design work has, has been done from, from there. Um, I've really enjoyed making it and um, I've kept my sort of normal kind of cutouts of the metal work, you know, even taking that through to the back there with the, 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 the diamond shaping into there. Um, I think really looks quite nice. Um, some of the key features in here is these knurled nuts that have tied the head to the arms to the the whole piece and um, that that's quite a nice kind of uh, continuity of it um, for those that don't know this is actually a motorbike steering uh, damper uh, and I came to this idea um, because um, of, a, of a need um, I was gonna go with one of these uh, sort of boot lid well, on a car boot lid um, gas ram um, but worked out pretty quickly actually that uh, you need quite a lot of weight to, to, uh, to overcome the force of the, the ram and, and this head is actually quite light so it wouldn't work, it just, it just wouldn't have worked. Um, and this, this ram, what this is designed to do is stop tank slap on a bike um, so it actually allows that fluidity movement within, within the turn so you know it gives that nice kind of feel to it um, so, so that's a really nice little touch. Um, and, and I'm really chuffed with that. It's got a bit of adjustment in there as well, but it's barely much cranked up to the max, to be fair. Um, other things, obviously, a little toggle switch for the for the lamp switch there. Keeps the industrial feel, feel going. Um, I did try this um, sort of knurled nut down here, and I came up with a little swivel here just so you could move it around. But as you can see, uh, it's it's a bit wobbly to be fair, uh, and not very fluid. I think I might put a little bit of grease in there or something. Um, maybe a bit form over function and, well, probably really overthought it because you could just turn it. <laughs> but never mind, um, it, it's kind of things you go through in a design phase, you know. Um, I've, I've put a little Edison filament uh, bulb in here, 40 watt, um, and, and, uh, and as you can see, it gives off this beautiful sort of golden sort of glow to it and bathes this, the, the, the desktop here with a nice sort of soft light. There's nothing harsh about it. Um, and this is where it's gonna, this is where it's gonna end up as well. You know, it's gonna be just sat in the corner here, it goes so well, um, covers everything that, that, that it needs to with, with the light. And I am just absolutely mega, mega chuffed with it. Mega, mega chuffed. I hope you like what I do. If you do, give me a thumbs up, maybe subscribe. Um, please do leave me a comment. Um, I love reading all of your comments. Um, and as always, I hope to catch you again.